Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So something a little different for you today. I'm gonna to be running you through a series of exercises and stretches that you can perform to help relieve that lower back pain. People experience lower back pain for a number of different reasons. Sometimes it's the way that you sleep. Maybe you're sitting in an office chair all day. Either way, performing specific moves like the ones that I'm gonna run you through today will hopefully help increase flexibility, mobility, your range of motion, and ideally alleviate some of that back pain that you're experiencing. Of course, if you're experiencing back pain that is just consistent and it's really excruciating, please go talk to your doctor and get some professional advice. All you need today is an exercise mat or a soft surface to lay on. I'm gonna be guiding you through this routine today, so all you need to do is clear some space and follow along. We're getting started right now. All right, we're just gonna roll ourselves down onto our mat here, making sure that we're doing a slight pelvic tilt forward so there's no space between your lower back and the floor. We're gonna start just with some knee lifts here, gently tugging the knee in towards the chest, keeping that lower back pressed down alternating legs. You really want to work with your breath here each time you pull that leg in. You're giving me a nice big exhale out and then inhaling release and switch sides. You're going to feel a slight pull through the hamstrings and the glutes here as well as releasing some tension in that lower back. Just take it nice and slow, focus on the movement and focus on your breath. We're gonna aim for about 10 reps here, but again, just working at your own pace. Okay, moving on now to some knee drops. We're gonna hug both knees into the chest. We're just gonna bring our arms to a cactus pose and then gently drop the knees to one side. The goal here is to keep the shoulder blades and the upper back in contact with the mat. A nice big inhale each time you come to center and then exhaling as you drop the knees, keeping it nice and controlled, not forcing this movement. Again, keeping that lower back nice and flat each time you come to center. Keep it going nice and steady just for a few more reps. And that's it. We're gonna head back to center, planting the feet so the ankles are stacked below the knees, setting yourself up for a bridge. As you lift the hips, you're gently squeezing the glutes, releasing tension in that lower back. It's really important to keep it nice and slow on the way down here. Every time you lower, you wanna lower one vertebrae at a time, Focusing on that pelvic tilt at the bottom, laying that lower back nice and flat on your mat. As you're lifting up, you're drawing the belly button towards the spine, really engaging that core. Exhale as you drive through the heels, squeezing the glutes. Inhale as you slowly lower down. All right, last one. Come on down, we're gonna extend those legs flat out on the ground, going into a lower body twist. Grab that right knee, hug it in towards your chest, and then very gently, you're gonna let that knee drop across the body to the left. Your right arm can be straight out to the side or in cactus pose, 
and you're just gonna bring your gaze over to that right side. You wanna feel a nice twist through that back, releasing tension. Making sure you're not forcing the knee here, just applying a gentle amount of pressure, letting gravity do all the work. Taking some nice big inhales and exhales, really trying to just relax into this pose. That's it, coming back to center. Let's hug the knees into the chest, reset, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So grab that left knee, tug it in, and then gently let it drop over to the right. We wanna try and keep the shoulder blades on the mat here as much as possible. Breathing into that lower back. Awesome, coming back to center, gently rocking yourself up. We're gonna do the same type of stretch here, but in a seated position. So sitting up nice and tall, cross that right foot over the left leg. Really sit up tall, and then you're gonna twist to the right and gaze over that right shoulder. The key here is to sit up as tall as you can and twist as far to the side as you can without any pain, of course. Take some nice big inhales right into that upper back and then exhaling, coming back to center, shake out those legs and let's do the same thing in the opposite direction, sitting up nice and tall, twisting to the left, gazing over that left shoulder. Keeping the abs engaged, belly button to the spine, Again, not forcing any of these movements. And release. All right, coming into a cross-legged position now, we're just gonna do a seated version of a cat-cow. So as you exhale, rounding the spine, scooping the belly, drawing the chin to the chest, and then inhale, opening up the chest, drawing the shoulder blades back, and lifting the chin to the sky. Find a natural flow to this movement, doing what feels right for you. And then we're gonna drop that left elbow to the ground, bringing the right hand up and over. We're gonna feel a nice stretch through that side body. Making sure to keep that right hip pressed down, it's gonna to wanna to naturally lift up off your mat. And we'll take it up and over, going the opposite direction, pressing that left hip down, really reach those left fingertips. Feeling the stretch all down the side of your body. And now coming back to center, we're gonna make our way onto all fours, going into a more traditional version of the cat-cow. Inhaling, rounding the spine, tucking the tailbone, drawing the chin towards the chest. And then exhaling, arching the back, pressing the hips back, bringing that gaze to the sky. Pressing the palms down into the ground, finding length through the spine. Coming now into a neutral spine, we're gonna lift up into a downward dog position here, drawing the chest towards the upper thighs, keeping the legs just as straight as you can. Shifting the weight forward now, lowering down onto your stomach, we're gonna press up into a cobra very slowly, nice and gentle, and then lower down. Exhale, press through the palms, lift up. And inhale, release. Let's do that again. Press through the palms, lift. Activating the glutes and the lower back. And release. Last one here. 
Awesome guys. All right, shifting back now into that child's pose, opening the knees nice and wide, keeping the toes touching. Reach those hands forward, let the belly just relax. Staying in this position as long as you like, just take some nice big breaths. Awesome work guys. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you are feeling a little bit of relief in that lower back. I know back pain can be really annoying, so being consistent with your stretching and your mobility exercises can really, really help. Before you leave, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm posting brand new full-length workouts right here every week. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you at the next workout.